Welcome to this episode of Resetting Your Compass. So what are we doing this week? We're going to go through ballroom and Latin dancing. Yep, certainly are. Dom can actually dance now. Um, seriously, as part of the training, I actually do ballroom and Latin dancing, and that came around about a year ago, give or take. I always wanted to learn it. It's one of those other things I always wanted to do. So this video is going to go through all the dances I do uh, with my wife. Um, and yeah, let's crack on and show you these. It's absolutely awesome. Just before we jump into uh, the ballroom in Latin, I need to explain a little bit about what it's all about. Uh, ballroom dancing, uh, you've probably heard of it, waltz, etc., things like that. This came from Europe in the late 17th, 13th, 18th century, give or take that area. And Latin dances, uh, things like the cha-cha and the rumba, they came from the Latin part of America, generally Cuba to be honest, but anywhere around that area, they all came from them, uh, late 19th, early 20th century. Now, the dancers split into several things. You've got your basic dancers that a couple, a couple do, for example, around the dance floor with other people on the dance floor, but they change what steps they're doing regularly. They don't keep any specific sequence. That is called a ballroom dance. That happens in Latin as well. Latin tends to stay in one place though on the dance floor. It doesn't really move around in any great way. Um, but in the same, same situation, it's your hand movements and your body position which determine what step is coming next. And fingers crossed, if you partner yourself in sync, you both do the same step. On top of that, a very uh, popular area is called sequence dancing. And all this is, is basically the same steps every person does in a set sequence, and then the sequence starts again. So for example, a waltz might be called a Catherine waltz, and you do a certain step, certain step, certain step of steps in a certain sequence, and everybody's doing exactly the same and moving around the room at exactly the same time. This happens in Latin as well. So you've got ballroom and Latin, and in there you've got the general dancers and you've got the sequence dancers. So without further ado, let's crack on, because that's all you want to see, Dom dancing. So the first dance we're looking at is the waltz, which is a ballroom dance. This originated in Austria and Germany back in the 18th century and is basically uh, characterised by a rhythmic 3-4. You'll notice there are three basic steps with the strongest emphasis on the downbeat. Now, basically what happens in the, in the waltz is that dancers usually move counterclockwise around the room and it's known for its smooth flowing movement and is often called the romantic dance. What you'll see later in the video is a more complex waltz than what we're showing here. This is just the basic steps. Also later in the video, I'll be showing you some sequence dances as well with, with regards to the walls, like the Catherine walls, etc. But this video is just showing the very simple basics, up and down, three steps movement of the walls. Moving on to Latin now. This is the cha-cha-cha, otherwise known as the cha-cha. Now, as I say, it's a popular Latin dance that originated in Cuba, Cuba in the 1950s. It's actually danced to a 4-4 time with the emphasis on the second and the fourth beat. What you do actually do is you dance on three of those four beats. You'll notice we're standing close together here. We're not traveling around the room. A lot of Latin dancers, you do actually stay in one place. You don't move around the room as you do in ballroom. It's a very, very energetic dance, really good dance to learn. The White City Waltz. This is the one of the first sequence dances we're showing. And basically, it's a simple form of the waltz. However, you dance the same set of steps over and over again. So all the couples on the floor are doing exactly the same dance. You move around counterclockwise and you normally move around about six foot each time. They're very, very popular because, because you're doing the same steps. It's actually, once you've learned it, as long as you keep doing it, it's easy to remember. The square tango. This is the second of our sequences to be performed. This dance originated back in Argentina and Uruguay in the late 19th, early 20th century. And it's danced on a 2-4 and a 4-4 time. As with the rest of the sequences, you learn a set of dancers. All the people are on the floor together and you move around the floor in an anti-clockwise direction. It's one of the simpler dances to learn. It's one of the first dances you will ever learn if you learn ballroom or Latin dancing. As you can see here, it's very, very basic, but actually really, really good to do. 
The waltz Catherine, or the Catherine waltz as otherwise known. This is a more complex uh, sequence dance. It is still a waltz, but it is one of the sequence dances. So you do it all the steps as you do in the other sequence dance with all the other couples in the room exactly the same. However, you will notice there's a lot more to this dance. And it's actually a very good one to learn if you want to improve your waltz, because you can take any of these steps and put it into your basic waltz. This is one of the good things about sequences. The rumba number one, another sequence dance. It's very popular at any dance, any ballroom or Latin dances you go to. This one also originated back in Cuba in the late 19th, uh, in late 19th century, early 20th century. And it's also danced, as with the tango, on a 2 4 4 4 beat. It's a relatively simple dance to get. But uh, also, with any of these, once you've learned this, you can take these steps within the sequence and put them into your own rumba as well. The saunter together. Now, this is one of the other sequence dances. However, it's a lot more complex than the ones we've uh, seen already. Um, this was also invented back in the late 19th century. But it's not one of those dances you'll be learning on your first uh, few months of ballroom and Latin dancing. This is probably a good year into your dancing you'll be learning this. It's a great one to learn uh, because it's got lots of complex steps in there that you can use in other dances. But better than that, it gets played a lot of the evenings and a lot of the weekends away for ballroom and Latin dancing. So it's really worth learning, but just be careful. It is hard. The Melody Foxtrot, a very popular sequence dance. And obviously it's danced with a to a foxtrot beat, as you can probably gather from the Melody Foxtrot title. It's very, very popular. It, um, it originated back in the US in the early 20th century um, and is danced on a 4 4 rhythm. It's a great one to learn, actually, because there's a lot of steps in here you will use on other dances. And it's also very, very popular uh, on weekends and social dancing. So if you can learn this one, you will definitely get a time on the floor at some point in the evening. The Mayfair Quick Step, a very, very popular sequence dance based on the quick step. It was invented in the US in the early 20th century and made popular in Mayfair in the 1920s. Really well worth learning and it can get very, very quick. They often play an Irish tune to this. Really great sequence dance to learn. The Cindy Swing, uh, a very popular sequence dance that's made up of the Charleston, the Cha Cha, the Waltz and the quick step. Personally, not my favourite. I don't think it flows as a dance. However, it is very popular and you will need to learn it if you want to go on any ballroom dance in social evenings. The Quick Step, a very popular ballroom dance. This also originated back in the US in the early 20th century. It's characterized by a very, very fast foot um, tempo, a uh, very lively, energetic style, and is danced on a 4 4 step. Um, it's actually quite complex. It seems quite simple, but it's actually quite a complex dance to do. And you've really got to keep your head together if you're going to do this. Um, because of the foot, fast footwork involved in the whole dance. Uh, the quick step, however, will probably be the, one of the first dances you will learn if you ever learn ballroom and Latin dances. Uh, it's a great one to have under your belt, but you'll notice whenever it comes on um, at a weekend or even on a social evening, not that many people do it. A lot of people like to keep to sequence quick steps rather than the actual real one itself. The jive. Um, this originated back in the US in the 1950s and is actually a swing dance. Um, we're actually j jiving the rock and roll jive here, but you can actually do the ballroom jive as well. That just has a little cha-cha step just in the middle of it. It's a really good one to learn. But what you'll notice is we don't move vastly around the floor. We use a little bit of the floor, but we tend to stay in one place and go around in a 360 angle going clockwise. Um, it's a great dance to do. You'll find it's played most evenings and it's really good one if you've got a fast tempo to go to. The jive is the one to do. The salsa. This is a very popular Latin dance and it's originated back in the Caribbean, particularly in uh, Cuba and also in Puerto Rico in the 20th century. It's characterized by a 4-4 time signature with the emphasis on the second and fourth beat. It's typically danced to a very fast tempo, but you'll also notice you're dancing very close to your partner here. You're not using a vast amount of the floor. Imagine yourself on a in Cuba in a very sleazy nightclub. That's really where this came from. Uh, it's an intimate dance, well worth doing, and is always played at any of the social dances. The waltz. This is just purely the same waltz as we did before, but with intermediate steps in there. We've gone to the next level on the waltz. Now, it's all dancing exactly the same time, but the great thing is here, 
we're dancing a lot more steps. So we're doing a lot more turns, you'll notice a lot more spin turns, we're doing hesitation turns, we're doing something called the weave. But the great thing is, as you learn an extra step in the wash, you can just put it into the one you're already doing. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. It's based exactly the same. You're doing a counterclockwise around the room, you're dancing to the same beat, but it also gives you some form of dance etiquette, as I say, because if you come across a couple that's stopped in a corner, and this often happens, stopped halfway down, you can actually get round them with different steps you can do. As I say, this one's just brought it up a little level just to show that the basic walls, you can then increase it as you go and you learn more steps. You can increase what you do, spend more time on the floor and make it look a lot, lot different than just the basic walls. It's so much fun learning the extra steps of any of the dancers. The rumba, a popular Latin dance that also originated back in Cuba in the 19th and 20th century. As you will see here with the rumba, we're in a very close position again. And you'll find this with all the Latin dances. You stay in one place generally and you dance around in that area. It's based on the 2444 four, four time signature um, and a lot of the emphasis and the sensuality of the dance. Uh, as you'll see here, I'm not great at this yet. I'm still learning the basic steps, um, but I do need then to bring in the sensuality of the body movements within the actual dance itself. It's a great dance to learn, very, very popular, and you can use steps, for example, from the cha-cha. You can do a cha-cha to the rumba uh, and also a rumba to the cha-cha. You just have to change the beat ever so slightly. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, as you can see, Dom can now do about 16 or 17 different uh, dances, uh, ballroom and Latin. Uh, quite a shock to me. I've been doing it for about a year, so that's a bit of a shock. But I hope you enjoyed that, and thank you all for watching. Don't forget, I'm releasing these videos every week now, so if you're enjoying them, please subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, catch you all next week.